Hello, everyone. So once again, uh, uh, we are here to discuss one of the most important topics of your even level German. And of course, for that, uh, that is uh, how to tell time in German. And for that, we are uh, going to take reference of our even level books as well. And before taking reference uh, from any of the book, I am going to share a few words uh, so that we can understand this concept better and uh, without any doubt we can go ahead and uh, yeah here I'm uh, sharing few words with you so learn that well and then we can go ahead so the words are like uh, uh, fear tell so first word you need to understand that is fear tell fear tell you use it with that means quarter quarter half half if you didn't hear me properly that what we are discussing today let me repeat my uh, topic that is how to tell time how to tell time we are learning this in german and the standard question one can ask you if someone is asking you what's time what's the time right now so the typical question for this in german is we Spät is s. So basically, how do they say this question? How late is it? How late is it means what's the time? Okay, what's the time? If someone is asking you this, that means they are asking you what is the time? So before learning the complete phrases, uh, the how to tell time, you have to learn a few basic words related with time telling. So number one is fear till, that is quarter. Number two is half, means half. Then comes course, course, little bit, little bit, or for a few minutes you use it, little bit. And um, then you have to learn few prepositions, that is knock, knock is uh, uh, for past you use, past or after, for after you use it in, while telling time. For is before. For is before. So to say like it is quarter, it is quarter to 10. So like uh, there's a quarter left to uh, to 10 o'clock. Then for that two, you use for in German. That is That means before. Okay, so Fiatel, Hal, Kurs, Nach and for. So uh, it's your choice if someone asked you we spät is is this that means what's the time official or unofficial official or unofficial way uh, you can choose to tell the time okay so let's uh, uh, go back to our a1 level book so that uh, uh, while seeing the clock we can understand it better that what we are going to discuss so here we have a clock fully labeled and um, so official you would be uh, following 24 hours clock or in official you would be following what 12 hour uh, clock and uh, so let's say if it is 7 o'clock how to say it in German S is 7 Uhr S is 7 and Uhr so basically one more word you are learning here that is Uhr Uher for o'clock. S is how you are saying it? S is sieben Uher. It is seven o'clock. S is sieben Uher. Okay, so S is sieben Uher. And this is, I'm uh, this uh, through this diagram, I'm telling you uh, how to tell time in an official way. We'll come to official way also. So uh, let's say if it is. Uh, uh, ke do teen minute ka time hua hai, then you can say it like course nak zibun. How to say this? You can say it course nak zibun. And if it is uh, uh, five minutes past seven, then you can say it fünf nak zibun. And ten minutes, ten past seven, if you want to say, then how to say it? Sein nak zibun. Sein Nach sieben. Quarter past seven. How to say quarter past seven? Pass. For pass, you have to use the preposition nach. And how to say quarter past seven? Viertel nach sieben. 
Fiatel. It's not weertel. It is Fiatel. Quarter. Fiatel nak zeben. And even uh, if half of the time from the whole hour has uh, gone by, has passed by, then in context of uh, half also, we tell time in German, okay? In reference to 7.30, you will also be counting the time. So, if you want to say that it is 5 minutes in the morning, so you can, same way I said in Hindi, same thing you can say in German also. Sari Saad Bajne me paach minute hai. So you can say it fun for. That means fight before half act. So the major change you are uh, uh, learning here in an official way of telling time is that half act means 7.30. Half act means 7.30. And uh, what does that mean? That once you learned Halbacht. If you are saying S is Halbacht. What does that mean? S is Halbacht. What does that mean? 7.30. So in German you say Aadha Aat Baj Gaya Hai. You do not say Ki Saat Baj Ke Tis Minute Ho Gaya Hai. Ab Iske Baad Aat Baj Ne Wale Hai. So in context of 8 you say Ki Aadha Aat Baj Gaya Hai. To 7.30 what you say in German? S is Halbach. It is half 8 already. S is shown Halbach. It is S is shown already. S is shown half Aat. It is already 7.30. It is already half 8. So in context of 8, you, you read this time that it is half 8. How you read this time? It is half 8. S is half act. Then tell me how to how will you be telling me this time? You will say it half 9. S is half 9. And this S is half L. S is half bell. So I hope this uh, like 7, 30, 8, 30, 9, 30, 10, 30, you can tell me in context of the time jo ab bajne wala hai, jo ab hone wala hai, uske reference mein you will tell me that ki aadha gyara baj chuka hai, aadha no baj chuka hai, aadha art baj chuka hai. Let's get back to our book. Yes, so halbakt. What does that mean? Halbakt is half eight, so 7.30. And in context of 7.30, you can also say 7.30 ho kar ke paach minute ho gaye hai. Saare saat baj ke paach minute bhi aap bata sakte hai. Saare saat ke reference mein bhi you can tell time. So as is fun naak, past ho chuke hai. It is, it is five past half eight. Or quarter bacha hai. So if you want to say quarter to eight, Pone uh, art bolna chate hai, then you have to say fiatel for. For means before. Fiatel for act. Fiatel for act. And then if you want to say 650, let's say 650. If it is 650, then how would you be uh, saying it? This What is written here? 650, basically. It's, it's 650. Same for Zeebel. 10 minutes before 7. S is same for Zeebel. Or 2 3 minutes hi baje hai saat bajne mein. So it is course before Zeebel. S is course for Zeebel. And it is complete S is Zeebel. S is Zeebel. It is 7. All right. So that is like in uh, the, uh, the way, uh, this way was actually really informal way to tell time. So, uh, when you use the terminologies like quarter or half or course or before or after uh, some time, then this is actually an official way of telling the time. What is the official way? So whatever is written on screen, on clock, you will read that. And of course, you have to follow 24 hours uh, clock pattern. So if it is written 14.45, you will read it the way it is written. S is how to say 14 in German? Fierzehn. S is Fierzehn. Uher. Fünfun Fierzisch. It is 14 o'clock 45. So, of course, so you are not telling me the denomination of 45. It is understood that it is minuten only. 
okay so let's practice it for a while so what do i want to explain here let's say if it is written 1450 so it's official and i can also write it like 250 yes if i follow 12 hour clock then i can write it this way also and in 24 hours clock way i have to write it 1450 so official way i have to tell the time like s is it is s is fir saying uhar uhar is o clock and then filmsish s is fir saying uhar filmsish this is official way okay and in official way i can read it like 10 minutes before 3 the first way of telling that this time is s is same for is before as a same for dry as a same for dry s is same for dry it is 10 before 3 other another way to tell this time S is swai uher film sesh, but actually this pattern of using us uh, uh, uher in between we keep it for our official way only. So this is the only way. uh to tell a uh, time in officially okay so because officially you use the terminology over instead of fear tell for na course and all you use over to tell the time so uh so tell me uh, how would i be saying 15 s is film saying Uher, fierzish. Order spelling, fierzish, or fierzik. As is, film saying uher fierzik. And if I am asking you to tell me the time one thirty, it is written inofficially. Then how to say it? As is, of course, आधा दो बज गया है. As is, हाल Swai. This is half swai, and official way is S is dry saying uher dry sesh. This is dry saying uher dry sesh. So better you take screenshot or take notes from uh, whatever I have written on the screen, and also don't forget to take reference. of this page as well so a particular label diagram uh, you can see and write the correct spellings and the, the standard way of asking this question is we spate is says how late is it means what's the time and another way a question could be asked if someone is asking you time he or she can ask you this way also we feel uher is this we feel uher is s so now by seeing this clock it is 4:30 even if you uh, you first in officially you can tell me the time like it is half five as is half pms or you can tell me 1630 you can also say it like as is zex in uher dry sesh and to this clock you can tell me time in officially like it is 5 past half 1 it is 5 past half 1 as is Fünf nach halb eins. Es ist fünf nach halb eins. And in officially, it is twelve thirty-five. You will be telling me twelve thirty-five only. If you compare, of course, comparatively, uh, telling time officially is really, really easier than in official uh, time. So officially, you can tell it twelve thirty-five, and you have to say it es ist zwölf Uhr. Fünf von dreißig. Es ist zwölf Uhr fünf von dreißig, and it is it is ten minutes before half seven. You can read it in officially like this. As is seen for half seven, and officially, of course, 
uh, you would be saying it 1820 to 1820, you would be just simply reading it 1820 in German. Es ist 18 Uhr Swansich. And in official to this clock, you will read like quarter to two. Es ist Viertel four before. Yeah. So you will say es ist Viertel four zwei. And officially, it is what? 13. 45 for you, so you will tell me as is dry saying uha fianful fiasish. So I hope now you can tell the time officially and then officially, whatever sort of doubt you have, you can drop your question in comment section. Thanks for listening, and I hope uh, it made sense to you and you have learned something new today. Thank you so much once again.